So, Firestorm news is coming thick and fast these days. Yesterday, the official Battlefield Twitter account released some screenshots of the map, and the map is named Halvoy. And I've got to say, this thing does look rather interesting. Now, if you've been following my videos over the last couple of weeks, you'll know I've already played Firestorm, and thus know more about the map than what I can say in this video. And until my embargo lifts later this week, I can't say anything specific, but I can attest to it being absolutely massive, and I can obviously talk about things that are now in this picture, it's just I can't go into too much more detail other than that. I'll do the best I can. Just a quick heads up, Criterion is predicting that each round of Firestorm should last about 20 minutes, or thereabouts, so the suggestions that the Ring of Fire will already be present on the map when you para-drop in, that's something we saw in the leaked trailer last week, that might well be true. So let's take a look at these images then. The first overview landscape shot here, in my opinion, doesn't do the map justice when it comes to size or scale, but damn does it make the Halvoy map look extremely pretty. You just don't really get a true sense of depth beyond the start of the snowy region, but you do get an idea for the biome that Criterion has chosen for the map. It's going to be this harsh, rugged landscape, lots of evergreen trees littered with buildings, and different locations for us to explore and loot from. I think it's a really nice location for a Battle Royale map. It's got that bleak feeling about it. Here's some of the more granular stuff that I noticed from this first image, however. There appears to be a good mix of basic and industrial buildings. So you can see down here on the coast, this small bit of land that juts out into the sea. It could kind of be an island, but it is connected by a bit of land and a road. The land is populated with these small perishable buildings, and most likely these are going to be houses. They don't look too dissimilar to the houses on the Narvik map in multiplayer, and that makes sense since Halvoy is set in Norway as well. This building here is definitely a lighthouse. I wonder if some rare loot is going to be stashed up there. Now when it comes to those more industrial areas, here you can see what appears to be a train yard with a larger warehouse style building in place, and in general it just looks a little bit more grey, and to me that suggests industrial. There are a few large antenna on the map, at least three are clearly visible, and again I'd expect these locations to be a little bit denser when it comes to buildings and cover, potentially even a place holding more loot. Now from this image it's almost impossible to see around the antenna, but there may be even more on the map as well. There might be one that you can make out further in the distance, but I don't know if it's just textures or blurring, it could be something different, so I didn't want to absolutely say it's another antenna, but it could well be one. Whether they do anything, or they are simply landmarks, that remains to be seen. You can also see a tunnel here that goes right through a hill and out of the other side, and it appears to connect into the train yard. And the other side of that train yard, you can see some sort of track that leads out of it and away to the north, but the image isn't really clear enough to tell if that's a rail track or just a road or a pathway. If it is a track, however, it could loop the entire map and connect different places along a single path. And you can actually see bridges and more track on the other side of the map, so it is possible that there is a full train loop going on here. Whether there's actually a train that goes round that you could control, we don't know at this point. The tunnel itself, that has some potential for bunker combat, although it's really where the Criterion has fleshed out the inside of the tunnel or not, if not, it's just going to become a sniper alley, and if you get stuck in there, you're likely going to die. And we can also see the dam at the edge of the large, narrow lake in the centre of the map. We got a glimpse of that in the trailer, and in the trailer, it does look like a very slim dam as well. Not the sort of place that you want to be taking your vehicle across, but if you had to use it, I guess you could. And it's probably better than swimming across and leaving yourself open to attack. Either that, or just use the swim wagon and get across in it and drive out the other side. In general, here in this image, there's lots of undulating terrain, lots of steep cliffs, exposed rock, lots of trees and buildings. Plenty of places that you can play hide and seek with enemies when they're looking for you. It's got that bleak feeling, as I said, and for a battle royale, I think Criterion have got that feeling right so far. So that was the first image, which still gave us a lot of information, but I think this second image 
is even more telling. You get a real sense of scale this time. You get to see the full lake area in full view, plenty more of the snow area, and just how long the coastline is here on Halvoy. On the left side over there, you can see another map is sort of overlaid on top of Halvoy. That's the Hamada map in standard Battlefield 5 multiplayer. So if Hamada was big, Halvoy is absolutely gigantic. Halvoy is 10 times larger than Hamada and is now officially the biggest battlefield map in history. Previously, it was Sinai Desert and Bandar Desert before that, but Halvoy is now the biggest. If we zoom in a little bit on the image here and look to the north of the big lake, that reveals some kind of farmland area. And that looks like the home of the tractor, so I expect that will definitely be a hot drop for nearly everybody on day one of Firestorm. This farmland section appears to be one of the largest set locations on the map, probably built out with its own feature set of buildings, pathways, and you can even see the ploughed fields. It looks like a small town, basically, and it could be a great urban combat team deathmatch location. And I've just got dreams of Pachinki in my head from PUBG. Now, looking over to the right-hand side of the map into that deeper, snowier part of Halvoy that we couldn't really see in the first image, you can see a frozen lake as well, so a second lake here on the same map. The snowy part of the map does look a lot more barren than the rest of it, but with the image not being that high quality, it could just be that we're not seeing the things that are actually there, or it's zoomed out far enough that certain things haven't actually rendered in properly. This big circular thing, I can't tell you exactly what that is, but you should definitely go and check it out when Firestorm launches next week. And on the south coast, in the far bottom corner of the map, you can see what looks like a dockyard area. Although at the angle the image shows, it is hard to make out any major features at that location. The squared off land that juts into the sea, that kind of suggests a dockyard in my head, but it could be something different. Now, these images do of course reveal a lot about the map that we're going to be playing on for Firestorm, but they don't really provide us with a huge amount of accurate information when it comes to these exact points of interest. I do have to say that the images don't appear to show off that many what I consider to be named locations, and of course at the moment we don't have the names on the map, but what I mean is the locations that are large enough to be named as locations. The first image shows that train yard, the dam at the end of the lake, maybe that bit of land jutting off the coast, and the second image shows the farmlands and the frozen lake, and maybe the dockyards, but outside of that, I can't really see too much going on, but as I said earlier, it could just be that the image was zoomed out far enough and the render distance wasn't set far enough that some of the things could have disappeared when the image was taken. In the days moving forward, we are going to be seeing more and more information and detail released about the Firestorm game mode. So these images at the moment are, they are the context, but we don't have the information to go with that context. So we need that to come out. We also have no clue how loot is going to be distributed on the map, and that's something that I'm really interested in. Our criterion going to be implementing a static loot table so that you can predict where the good gear is going to be, or will they be randomizing the spawn locations? Or are they going to have tiered locations like Apex Legends where the chance of different tiers of loot spawning is higher or lower? That might have a huge bearing on different drop tactics as the game launches, and for now, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, for today, that's our most up-to-date Firestorm news. As soon as anything more meaningful gets announced, I'll let you guys know, as I always do. And it is worth remembering again that I'll be releasing gameplay of Firestorm here on the channel in the next couple of days. So, you'll get your first look at gameplay and you can get a basic understanding for what's arriving to Battlefield 5 next week. But that video will very much be first impressions. I only got to play the game for about 90 minutes or so whilst I was in Stockholm and that's barely enough time to even understand the mechanics in play or even drop in more than five or six different locations. So be on the lookout for that video. And I managed to make it through another video this week with a horrific cold. I think I sound a little bit better today, but I've still had to stop the recording about four or five times to stop myself coughing or sneezing or something like that. It's horrible, this cold, and I don't wish it upon anybody, but the person who gave it to me, I will find you, and I will kill you. 
But until then, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.